What's up guys, this is Derek from moreplatesmoredates.com. Today we're going to be talking about how to develop 3D delts. So a lot of people send me messages and emails about my shoulders. How do I, you know, develop better shoulders? How do you get that rounded look of the delt? And to be honest, when it comes down to it, most people, when they see a body part that they don't necessarily have uh development up to where they want it and they see somebody else with it the first thing they think is oh that guy must be doing something i'm not doing when the reality is typically it's going to be genetic so like my shoulder day for example is typically even when i was now i could literally probably do nothing for them and still maintain them but when i was building them it was like four sets of heavy military press um I do heavy side laterals with dumbbells and then I drop set it and get like four sets in with a much lighter weight just to draw a bunch of blood into the muscle and stretch the fascia as much as possible. And then I'd probably go hit like a rear delt movement for like four to five sets and then I'd do traps and that was the end of my workout and I did that once a week and that worked just great for me but for the next guy... You know, that might not be sufficient and you might need to train shoulders twice a week. It's just at the end of the day, my shoulders just respond better than all of my other body parts. And there's nothing I can do about that. It's just genetic. Like even when I was getting bigger, they just respond much better to training and stimulation as opposed to a perfect example is my chest. I always get criticism on my videos about hey dude like you should train your chest more by the way it's like i've been training for over eight years do you think i don't know my chest is very underdeveloped in contrast to you know my delts and stuff like obviously i know my chest is not good and does that mean i don't train chest or i don't know how to train chest like no i've worked up to a four plate bench before on my chest day and i've trained chest twice a week and not even touch my shoulders for that time frame and it's still not up to the standard of you know the rest of me and is that have does that have anything to do with you know me not doing the correct movements not no not really like it comes down to my genetic structure because at the end of the day you have muscle insertion so you have a muscle insertion in each part of your body for example your bicep peak the way that is rounded, the way it actually is formed is genetic. The only thing you can do as you gain size is increase the size of those muscle bellies. You can't reshape them though. So if you have like, for example, in my case, if you have a very terrible, you know, chest, all you can do (laughs) is get a bigger version of that crappy chest, but you're not going to develop that like super awesome shelf look that you get on guys with great chest genetics and like for me i have you know like a 3d ish round delt and if i get them bigger it just becomes a bigger 3d round delt but it's not like if my structure was not that where i had you know that delt insertion i couldn't just build that you know what i mean it has to be cut it has to be part of you already And then you increase the size of that through your diet and through your training. So when it comes to delts specifically, because that's obviously why you're watching this video, if I was to, obviously there are things you can do to kind of give the illusion of more of a capped look and kind of give that look of a sort of, you know, like cannonball, bowling ball, 3D delt, even if you don't have one right now, it's just the extent to which you can develop that is limited by your genetic structure but as far as if i was to advise advise somebody on how to max out you know how 3d their delts are i would say do shoulders twice a week one day hit heavy presses heavy laterals a lot of them and at least one rear delt movement just for like a balanced look obviously at the end of the day what I think is most important is the lateral movements. That's what builds the width of the delt. And for me, when I first started incorporating, you know, the heavy side lateral raises, that's when I started noticing, 
more of the, you know, 3D-ish kind of structure to be more apparent. Even though it was already there to begin with, it's just more exaggerated the more I did this. And so I would do that on one day, and then on another day, I would do it, I would do another shoulder day, but this time I would focus more on uh, higher rep schemes, um, driving as much blood into the muscle as possible, um, just complete hypertrophy. Nothing to do with crank, like getting heavy numbers and trying to beat your strength lifts each week because you're going to do that on your heavy compound movement day. This day would be focused more on just getting a ridiculous pump and stretching the fascia and the shoulder as much as possible because ideally what you want to do, in my opinion, to gain you know size as best as possible in a certain area is to not only incorporate progressive overload where you're like beating your strength numbers on the compound movements each week, but also drive tons of blood into that muscle and just stretch the fascia as much as possible because a lot of times the limitation of growth is not always just um, your, you know, like your shoulders worse than the rest of you. Sometimes you actually have tighter fascia inside that muscle that you need to, you know, work on in a more specific and focused way to stretch and actually get that hypertrophy in that muscle group. And, you know, some people, they just they neglect the pump because they're so focused on trying to get like their next six rep max on their Smith machine shoulder press or something like that. And then there's other guys who only focus on getting the pump, but then they neglect the strength part of their movement. So an incorporation of both into a weekly routine, this doesn't just apply for delts. This applies for any muscle group, I think is the best way to, you know, focus on a lagging area and bring it up to kind of try and match the rest of your body to the best degree possible. In addition to that, a lot of people think there's something to do with androgen receptors in the shoulder and supposedly there's more androgen receptors in the shoulder. So that's why um, guys are able to develop them to a certain degree with gear. And that's why guys have the bowling ball delts and the IFBB and whatnot. But honestly, there's so many pros with like overpowering arms to delts and like delts that aren't as good as the next guy or just crappy delts in general in contrast to the rest of them that I think it's it's not a myth necessarily. Like I'm sure there is some factual science behind the f- how many androgen receptors are in your delt, but at the end of the day, the genetic structure of your body is going to dictate what kind of shape that muscle group takes on as you, you know, induce hypertrophy in it and get bigger. Like you'll notice there's a lot of guys that no matter how big they get, even if on a tape measurement, it looks like they have a big muscle group, like not to take a shot or anything, but like Mark Lobeliner, he has, he's like a big dude, like he's ripped and he's big. But if you look at the actual genetic structure of his arm, the way he had his bicep insertions sit on his body, I bet you on a measuring tape, his arm doesn't have too shabby of a measurement. But when you look at him, his arm in contrast to the rest of him does not look nearly as developed as the rest of his body. And that comes down to the muscle belly and the insertion he has in his arm. And, you know, he can get as big as he wants, but at the end of the day, that arm is always going to lag behind the rest of him. And that's, there's only so much you can do. Like there's obviously sight enhancement oil and stuff like that, but that's like a whole nother ball game. But anyway, as far as, <laughs> Getting super off track here, but as far as the 3D delts go, if you really want to focus on your delts, train them twice a week, one day focusing more on strength, and one day focusing more on hypertrophy in the pump, and constantly trying to beat your numbers each week and being consistent and committed to the process, and you know, obviously having a diet that is complementary to the recovery necessary to actually get the growth in that muscle group. So anyways, hope you learned something from that video, found it, I don't know, informative or helpful in some capacity. Uh, Please like, subscribe, comment, check out my blog, moreplatesmoredates.com, subscribe there. Talk to you guys soon.